Hi everyone, Janie here, and recently I lost all of the addresses and birthdays and stuff I had in a file on my computer, and so I decided it's time I make an actual address book to keep everything in, and hopefully I won't lose that. So let's head on over to the craft table and let me show you what I did. Making a cute little address book like this is so easy, and I am going to show you how easy it is. So, the first thing you're going to need is a piece of cardstock cut to the same size as an A2 size card. So that means it is eight and a half inches by five and a half inches, scored at four and a fourth inches, and folded. And there you go, same as an A2 size card. And then you can cover that cardstock with some pretty papers. And what I use for mine is this pretty lady pack that I got from In Love Arts and it comes with 24 different 6 by 6 sheets. Well not 24 different ones, it comes with 12 different ones, two of each and this gives you an idea right here of the pretty designs and the pretty colors. I've already used some of this so you're not going to see it all in this package but it is absolutely beautiful. And then you're going to need these sheets. Okay, I have made that easy for you and let me grab it here. I'm going to tell you where you can get a free download. Okay, I've created this file and it is going to be in a blog post on Crafters Castle blog where I have my challenges. I'm going to have a link below to that post where you can download this and you just print it on both sides and then you're going to cut it in half and you are going to fold it in half. And I'm gonna go cut out the rest of these and get them folded. And um, before I forget, I'll let you know that I'm putting a link below to where you can find this beautiful paper pack. And I'm also putting a code below that you can use to get a 15% off discount at In Love Arts. And so be sure to use that code if you go shopping there to get this paper or some of the other things that I may be showing you in this video. So I'll be right back. You might be hearing my husband's tractor outside because we've had a lot of snow. And so he is out there plowing. And so if you're wondering what that noise is, if you can even hear it, that's what it is. So what I'm doing is I'm just folding these in half. And I've just used two and a half pages because I've already used the other two and a half in the little um, phone book or address book that you just saw. But you can use a full three pages or just two pages, whatever you want. And I'm just folding them in half. Now I will tell you, I'm gonna go trim these in a minute because once you have them all folded in half and put together, they will not be even. And even though you're folding them even, once they're put together, just because of the, um, you know, the depth, as you keep putting them together, each one is going to stick out a little bit further. And so all you have to do is use your paper trimmer, or um, I've seen people use a ruler and um, a craft knife, or you can just use your scissors. And you're just gonna trim it to make it even. And while you're at it, you may want to trim it down a little bit more on the top and bottom um, if you don't like it going edge to edge in the book. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here really quick. Let me grab this. When you put them in there, it's going to go edge to edge, top and bottom, because they're exactly the same size. So if you don't like that, you can trim these pages down a little bit shorter if you want. Now you can see here, where they stick out the side. And it's not because these pages were bigger, it's just because when you layer them all together, it just, like I said, it'll make some of them stick out further. So I am gonna go trim those off, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got mine all ready to go, and I'm gonna be using staples. And most of us do not have a stapler that's going to reach all the way in. So what you can do is you can take your staples, like this, and then just, you know, take off one staple at a time and just line things up where you want them. 
and then we're so we're here in the center making that perfectly clear this is the center where they fold this is not like you know where they're loose like this this is the center where they fold and get everything lined up and then take a staple and put it where you want it take a pencil and put a little mark where the ends of the staple are so see right there I just put a little mark at the end of see if I can get this in here and hold it at the same time but where the staple is going to go in and I'm going to do the same thing up here and I'm just eyeballing this but I would say it's probably about an inch in you can you know do it wherever you want your staple to be once you've got it marked you're going to take something like this one of those little pokey tools this happens to be for doing brads and I absolutely love it but whatever you would normally use to poke holes in your craft projects so I'm going to get that lined up and I'm going to poke a hole in each of those spots just like that and now I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to take the staple and put it through those holes I wish I could get in a different position because right now I'm trying to work around a camera that is right where my eyes need to be so I may have to do this off camera there we go so the staples are in and it was so much easier to do when I can hold it where I could actually see it good and um, the amount of pages I had in here which were um, two and a half sheets of printer paper is enough for 40 names addresses phone numbers birthdays and everything and so now you're saying oh but there's staples on the end but they are going to be covered up by the binding that you put over the end now decorating the outside the size of your binding that is totally up to you um, what I have done because I am using this paper which is six by six and I didn't want to waste it because honestly I could easily cut it down to to fit that but I like to make things go as far as they can go this paper is gorgeous and I wanted to have plenty of it to use on other projects so what I've done is I've actually cut it in half so it's three inches this way and then this direction I left a little border so instead of five and a half it is five and three eighths and so this is going to go on like that and then the binding cover will go over that so what I've done on mine is again I did this three inches by five and three eighths so the same as that that way I get plenty so here's you know the piece that I used before this is the the leftover piece so I was able to get two out of it and I have scored it right down the middle so I've scored it at one and a half inches and just folded it and so that is going to make the binding cover that goes over just like that so it's going to cover up where this doesn't cover but don't worry about it like I said you know you can use paper and you could I could have used a whole sheet to do this so it's up to you on how you decorate the cover but this is what mine is going to look like and I'm going to add some extra stuff just like I did on this one and here it is all finished put together I added some trim down the edge there this one says family and this one says friends and that is how I'm going to keep my addresses separated and I just think that these are so adorable and so easy to make but I'm going to go one step further I have created a little book that these are both going to fit into okay and I'm going to tell you a little bit about that here in a second but it's all going to go together just like this and it has a little pocket in the middle where you can stick
stick some goodies and I have actually made a journal tutorial on how to make this like this. <laughs> I don't even know how to say it, but how to make this other cover that's going to hold all of this. And I'm going to put a link below in the description box so you can go watch that tutorial. But I'm going to do a couple of other things to this and you know, you can go through it with me. I'm going to be adding a pocket to it and stuff and a little label thing on the outside. So we're going to do that together. And before we do, I will tell you what the dimensions are for this because it is slightly different than the tutorial that I'm giving you the link to. So before I get to the finishing touches on this, let me show you what the differences are. If you're interested in making that, these are the differences between the one I just showed you and the one that I'm giving you the link to. So you're going to take an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock and you're going to cut it in half. And you're going to use both halves. And what you're going to do is you are going to score at four inches and four and one eighth inches, which is just the line just past the four. You're going to do the same thing on both of these. So again, four inches and four and one eighth inch. And what you're going to do is you're going to fold on those score lines. And it's really actually a little bit difficult to do when they're so close together like that. But you're going to do that. And then you're going to take the shorter sides. And that's what you're going to glue together. Because you can see that one side is shorter than the other side. Okay, on both of these, you're going to fold them and you're going to take the two shorter sides and you're going to adhere them just on the sides and across the bottom. And you're going to see that in the other video. So I just wanted to show you the measurements for this and write those down and then go watch the other video for the complete tutorial. So I didn't show you this beautiful paper. This is all part of that paper pack. And it is just gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And this center here is what you will see in the other video, but it's a pocket created when you adhere those, you know, two pieces of cardstock together. But this is just beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little corner pocket for right here. And I'm going to do this with this beautiful die that is also from in love art they have some fabulous stuff i will definitely be putting the link below it even comes with an extra corner piece but what i'm going to be using right now is this piece so we're just gonna put that right here and yeah you've heard this before my cuddle bug plates are just an absolute disaster okay so I'm going to go ahead and crank this through. And then just because of this little, you know, intricate part right there, I've said this before in a lot of my videos, but when I'm dealing with things that are intricate, I like to flip it over. So if you didn't see what I just did, I just flipped over these plates. I didn't flip over the white one. So just these and put this back in there. And we're going to run it through. So now it's facing up. Some dies, oh, my plates are so horrible. Some dies cut better facing up. And hold on a second here. I'm having issues getting this going through because my plates are a mess. And so when you turn it upside down, I have one that's more warped. Okay, there we go. Sorry if my arm was in the way. All right, so some cut better face up, some cut better face down. When it's intricate, I make sure I do it both ways. And as you can see, well, you, you can still see it. It just lift right up. So it just cut beautifully. And now I just need to pop this out of there. And we are going to have a really beautiful die. Look at that. I still have to go pop some of these pieces out as usual. You know, that's nothing new. 
all the little tiny pieces, but it just came out beautifully. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll be right back. Before I do, I just wanted to show you, it has the little score lines here, so you know, you know exactly where to fold and create a pocket with this. This is so beautiful, but I'll be right back. Before I move on, I actually have one other piece that I need to die cut. And I will show you this as well. It is just another absolutely gorgeous die from In Love Arts. Okay, this is what the die looks like. I actually should have done this on camera, you know, pulling it off and showing you how beautifully this came out of the die and all of those little intricate pieces. Isn't this just gorgeous? I love it. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, this is going to go on the front and I have to decide what I'm gonna be stamping on there. But this is gonna go on the inside. And so it's really simple. You just fold on those score marks just like that okay and then right here because this is going to well, actually you could do it over the outside so I'll do that because it works beautifully going over the outside there and so you can glue that on the back and then I'm going to attach it on the inside creating a little pocket okay now I am ready to put my two little address books in to here and remember you don't have to do that you can just make the cute little address book and leave it as is but like I said I want to put mine in here I have one for friends and one for family so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and right here in the corner of the um, the flap in the middle the pocket in the middle I'm just going to make a tiny little clip Okay, and see if I could do this on camera. Okay, tiny little clip. I'm going to do that at each end because that is where twine is going to go through. All right, and I'm going to take my friends. I'm going to grab some twine. Not sure how much I need, so I'll just pull off a lot. How's that sound? Let me see, going back over, let's just give it a little bit more. Better to have too much than not enough. So I'm gonna hope that this is enough. Yeah, yeah notice I went for some more there. Okay, so I'm gonna find the center of my book, the center of my address book, and I'm going to add the twine right through there. And I just heard somebody come in the house, so there may be some noise, and I may have to pause here just for a second. I'm back, and hopefully the noise doesn't interfere with the video. So I've got the twine going through. I'm going to have it come out the bottom here. And I'm going to have it go across the top and into that little notch that I created. So I've got it pulled down inside there. I'm gonna take this one and open it up to the center and bring the twine into there. Now, I'm gonna to go to the bottom where that little notch is and put the twine in there. And bring it back up on this side and I'm gonna tie it. Okay, it's done. I got the twine in here, as you can see, and I was able to get it tied snugly. And this actually allows for the book to be pulled out if necessary. It depends on how tight you get it, but um, to pull out if you needed to take it out. But I don't see it needing to come out. So like I said, I have my little pocket right here in the front. I can stick some business cards. Got plenty of room for friends's addresses and phone numbers and birthdays, plenty of room for family, little pocket in the middle in case I have any little notes I need to stick in there. And I might just put another pocket here in the back. We'll see, but there you go. A quick and easy address book.
Thank you all for watching today. And that was pretty easy, right? And to make it even easier, click below where it says show more and it will drop down and you are going to find a link to the blog post that has the free download for the inserts for the address book. And yes, it is free, a gift from me to you. And you will also find links to In Love Arts as well as a discount code that will save you 15% on your order should you choose to order from them. And you'll find links to what I use today. You will find a link to the journal tutorial that has all of the directions on putting this cover together. And there will be, hmm, oh, there'll be a link to Crafter's Castle Challenge where you can enter your creations, whether they are cards or journals or anything you make and have a chance to win a prize. So be sure to check that out. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.